Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is going to be another raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to do something I was doing on my stream last night. We're going to get into the arena, epics in the arena, trying to get ourselves up to plats. Um, this is based on a video I've done quite a while ago now. It was a lot of fun to do it back then. I'm trying to get out a team where the meta has changed, but we've still got some pretty busted epics to play with. So let me show you. Uh, first, I'm going to show you my great hall actually. I'm working with a very solid Great Hall, yeah? I've got crit damage through the roof, high levels of accuracy, high levels of defense. My resistance is pretty solid as well, good HP as well. So my Great Hall is really helping me get some of these stats. Still, I need to build characters in the right way. Champions have got to be built well, otherwise I'm just gonna get nuked in the arena. So who am I gonna use then? As I said, we're using Epics today. Um, my favorite four for this are Morsley and Mage as the protector, as the person who's going to buff up my damage. So I've got a Morsley and Mage massively in resistance, yeah? Six-piece resistance set with a defense chest, with a resistance banner. So I could even, I could push another 100 resistance in this build if I decided not to go defense chest and actually went for a resistance chest. So I could push this in. I'd lose a bit of speed, which I don't really want to do, and I would lose quite a chunk of defense, which again, I don't really want to do. Um, and 530 resistance is already pretty high. So if we were going like literally high and plat, maybe I'd have to push that resistance up some more. But as it is, we are going 530 resistance, 212 speed, 3.7k defense, good HP level. So he's number one, he's there. What's he there for? He is there to put increased crit rate on my team, increased defense on my team, which means defensive champions hit harder and block debuffs on my team to get rid of all the freezes and that type of stuff that's going on in the arena right now. He's also there to clear debuffs off of my team so that once my guys get a go, they're not going to be frozen, they're not going to be stunned, all of that type of stuff. Mastery Zen, I've gone for heavy support build. So we've got into additional resistance here. We've got resistance at the top. Um, I've got reduced damage in this part. I have got chance to increase turn meter when the rest of my team are taking crits. Uh, and I've got a chance to counter attack. Reason I like the counter attack on him is because his A1's got evil eye. I counter attack, I've got a chance to drop their turn meter with evil eye. Uh, and then the rest of it's kind of built around healing from his ability, yeah? That's why mostly in mage. One of the other ones I've got built out then is my Madame Cerise. The Madame Cerise is a kind of opposite type of support to Morsi and Mage. So Morsi and Mage is all about defense. Mors uh, Madame Cerise is all about offense. She she goes in and she lays her A3, decrease attack, decrease defense, and remove all buffs from the enemy. So it's an offensive support. She is setting up my damage. Morsi and Mage is protecting my damage. Madame Cerise is setting up my damage um, to go out and do their job. She has got absolutely stacked masteries for accuracy. So she's, again, like the opposite style to um, Morsi and Mage. So she's got accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. Speed when debuffs drop off. Again, Evil Eye, really important for the arena setup. And we end up in 50 accuracy here. Similar sort of style in the defense tree. She's not there to do damage. She is there to enable my damage dealers to do their work. So she's got an immunity set. So she's gonna get her go unless somebody like a Ray burns it off her. She's got 3K defense, um, 449 accuracy, which is pretty good. I'd love another 50 to be honest, but it's not bad. We do have accuracy on the chest. We do have accuracy on the banner. We do have some accuracy here on the amulet. And then because I need the immunity set, I basically put my best pieces of my immunity set on. I do need a good speed on her. She's got 237 speed. Um, so if I didn't need such a high speed, I'd be able to put better accuracy pieces. I don't have a good immunity set accuracy piece here. I don't have a very good one here. No rolls in it here, um, but the rest of it's pretty good. We then go on to my damage. So I've got Umbral. Umbral is built still with heavy accuracy. I still want her to land her debuffs. She does a provoke and she does a block buffs. Both of them really important for this setup. 50% chance to crit, gets boosted by Morsi and Mage to 75. 137 crit damage, this will hit pretty hard. Good level of defense, again, that gets boosted by Morsi and Mage. Um, in terms of masteries, I've got her in Helm Smasher. 
Helm Smash is going to enable me to ignore some defense when I'm going in for the hits. Um, because this hit here, this ability here is AoE, hits hard, puts block debuffs on for three turns. And this one here hits like a truck, AoE again, and puts provoke and block cooldown on has uh, provoked on them, block cooldown on me. So she has got accuracy on her chest, defense here, speed here, four piece accuracy, two piece speed. We've got accuracy here. Um, so she is good to go. And then lastly, I've got rock breaker. Rock Breaker, if you've never used him, is an absolute beast. He's such a fun champion. One of my favorites uh, in the epic category. I got him in a Frost set. Uh, the reason being, he does a Provoke as well. So when he gets provo uh, Provoke out, he gets hit. They've got a chance to be hit by Frost. Um, when he counterattacks, he's got this A1 that starts to stack more defense every time he hits with it. An extra 4%, 5 times, up to 20%. That's just building his damage, building his damage. He's got this Iron Hide ability. Uh, when booked up, 50% chance to take half damage. Absolutely insane ability. Um, how I got him built then? We have gone crit damage here. Nice piece this for him with 20% defense. Defense on the chest, speed on the boots. Crit damage set with some nice crit rate and crit damage. Crit rate and, and bits here. Um, crit damage here with nice speed roll. And then we've gone defense. Crit damage here with some accuracy and accuracy on the banner with defense. So I wanted pretty good speed on him. We've got 183 speed, 4.2k defense, which is decent. Decent amount of crit rate. Bearing in mind, Morsi Mage is going to boost it up another 25% and a good amount of crit damage on him. And in terms of masteries, we've gone Helm Smasher again. So I want to land the Provoke and I also want to hit hard. Uh, I've got some subs. I've got Mors uh, Miscreated Monster just kind of built up as a high HP. High speed, high crit rate, sh um, shield bringer. Um, he's probably my main sub that I'm going to be bringing in today. I could bring in Sandlashed. I could bring in a um, who else have I got built? Ch -ch 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 Madam, um, what's her name? Seer. And I could bring in a Lua. So I've got a few people built up, but that's going to be my main four. And we are fighting at a decent level now of gold four. Look at this high end of gold four. Let's get into some fights. Um, I was doing this live on Twitch last night. And it was actually super good fun. So I'm literally, it doesn't matter who it is, we're going for him. Rotors, doesn't matter, we're going to take him on. This team's going to do it. So in this situation, I am fastest, only just faster than this guy. This guy's got a chance to remove all debuffs. So I, I don't know who's going next. I don't know if I'm faster or if he's faster. If I'm faster, then I would 100% go A3 here, but I don't know, so I'm gonna go A2, try and get some fears off, which we did. It is me that's faster, so I'm now gonna put up, I'm gonna put up a block buffs. Block buffs is on, and now I'm gonna put up increased defense and increased crit on my team. Okay, so we're gonna get a provoke out now. So all of the damage, apart from Mountain King, is gonna be coming into Rock Breaker. As they come into me, we get a counter-attack off. So we've got Provoke here now, so I can go my A3 now. I know that that's not going to... Um, he's not coming for me. We, we'll go a counter-attack, 31k, nice. We need to get Provokes on again with the Umbral. Slam them down, 44k. Thanks for coming, Apothecary there. Um, who do I want to take out first? That's the question. I think we're just going to go A1 here, try and get the decrease speed on, which we did. He is dead. He's dead. This guy is not yet dead. Um, but there's no reses in this team. I think I'm just going to go over here. Give him a slap. 64k. Who's the Mountain King now? Mountain King's down. And then we're just going to finish off Rotus. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for coming. One team down. Who's next? Which team of legendaries do we want to take on next? It's going to be these guys. So these guys are... Sathalia, again, she can remove all debuffs. So this is the same situation here. I do want to block out. I've got block debuffs here, that's nice. So I want to put block buffs out, again, because I know that Warlord can put big shields up and we don't want that to happen. So we've got block buffs up. We're in a bit of a situation here because I don't want this guy to freeze my team before I get my provoke on. So I'm gonna go a1, try and reduce reduce his um, turn meter a bit. 
We've got resistors. He's quite high resistance. We're going to go for a provoke here. Got it just on two of them. We're okay. Every time they go, we're going to counter attack back. That's fine. Got a fear up there. See, it says she's cleaned everything off. See that? So now that's happened. Oh, this freeze. I didn't want to freeze here, to be honest. Now that's happened, though, I can absolutely go ahead with my A3. Now we start doing damage. Counter attack damage, 14k. Who's coming at me next? Now we can go with the AoE provoke. Big nuke. He's died there. See that? He got one shot. Everyone else has taken a good old chunk of damage. Don't have my block debuffs up, so I don't want to risk a heal. I don't really need the heal. I'm just going to try and get his, his health down a bit. So that when we come in for the hit, we're going to kill him. Don't need to do AoE. I could do AoE. I do AoE, get a bit of damage off. Rotus sits down. Madam Therese sits down the Rotus. See you later, Rotus. Frozen there, frozen there. So I might as well go in for a bit of a hit on the Warlord. Woo! 39k. Yes, thank you very much. Um, what we got? What we got? I think we'll just take her out. She's the only kind of healer threat now. Then we can take him down. We're left with a bit of an auto. Lean back in the chair. This one's one. Rockbreaker comes in. Nice, good 11k, 7k. Everybody's chilling. And that is a team of legendaries. Well and truly binned off. Binned off. Two to nil. So what we got here? I mean, this is a tough team. A lot of damage here. Protection here. Insane damage on this guy. Frustrating Tormund here. Let's see what we can do against these. This is going to be a tough tough fight for sure. So again, I'm going faster than... This is a really tough situation. Again, exactly the same as before. I'm still trying to drop turn to here. Got that off. That's good. So now I can go in and do block buffs. I should be able to block the buffs of, of the um, Skull Crown. Increase my... Please don't freeze everyone. Please don't freeze everyone. Ah, froze him up. Didn't really want to freeze him up. But you see there, Madam Ceres just tried to do her big buff move. And actually what we've done is we've negated that completely. So now we're going to go in and re reduce all of their, their threats. Throw in the big nuke. This might even kill the Skull Crown outright. Let's see. Oh yeah, 29k. Sit down, Skull Crown. So we need to take out Madam Ceres next. Because she's going to resurrect people. Hopefully Rota stops having 100 goes. I want to remove this freeze, so I'm going to go for the heal. Hopefully it doesn't just freeze him again, which it did. It's really annoying. Go in now with the A2, just try and remove some of this stuff. Get my block, block buffs up. I need to take out, um, what's her face here, Duchess, because she's the problem right now. She's the one causing all the problems because she can resurrect. Oh, it's just one shot me. Just one shot me. I've still got to go Duchess though. Even though we could take the... Uh, the, the um, Wrote us out quite easily, I think. I just want to try and take Duchess down so that she's out of the game. I think I'm going to pick my defense up. Can you kill her? Yes, you can. One down. She's going to be close, though, because Rotus is literally picking up health as we go here. Let's see if we can get a fear away here. Didn't get it. Now go here, try and get rid of some of that shield. Now we're going to drop all of their attack. I want to heal, but Joe, if I heal, I'm going to chance myself getting frozen. I think I need to, though. Okay, we didn't get frozen. That's good. We've got a bit of termeter back here. Uh, ma, 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 ma. I think I need to go for the rotors here. Please one shot him. Oh, that's so close. He's just got enough health to keep himself alive. Now he's going to take her down. Oh, it's a really close fight. Now he's gone crazy, though. Now he's gone crazy. That was very, very close. Um, we're going to go for it one more. Should I change anything up? I don't think I will. I think I'm going to go at it the same way, but this time I'm going to go with straight away reduce their defenses, straight away provoke, slam them with a nice provoke, stop them doing what they want to do, basically. I'm going to increase my defense and hopefully get my provoke off here with the. See, they all resisted. Their resistance is too high for my rock breaker. We're still looking good. We've already activated this, so that's that's pretty cool. 
We need to kill this Duchess again. Duchess is going to be resurrecting people, obviously. Just getting some decent counterattacks off here. She she could die, but I actually just want to take out this Duchess. Give her a hit. 41k. Give her another hit. 25. She's nearly down. Let's take her out. So she's out of the, the game now. That freeze there again is a bit annoying. Big hit there. Oh, Big hit there. Big time, actually. Let's heal this up, though. Don't think it's worth me trying to provoke again, because... We saw last time we just don't have the accuracy, so I'm going to try and take her out of the game. Nice counter-attack, 14k. Let's try and get my defense up. She's going to go. So we're 4v2, but we know Rotus can just wipe the team out in one go. So he's the problem. This is actually good that he's going next, because we're just chunking a bit of health down. I want to kill him here. Oh, it's close. Close. We're going to go with the AoE. He's down. This time around, it's worked out nicely. Should be fine here. He's still a problem. He's still got stuns and all sorts of stuff. But I don't think he's got enough. And we do have enough damage with this guy. Rock Breaker doing the damage. So we're just going to go in. A1. Oh yeah. 18k. That's pretty good. It's all about Rock Breaker now. See you later. 32k. Helm Smasher pops up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Let's go again. France. Let's see what you got, my friend. Let's see what you've got. So Seeker wins the speed race. We've resisted the um, the chance there to lock out my Rock Breaker. Oh, that was a big hit from Ethos. Massive hit. Think I need to boost my turn meter a bit here and get some health back. Make sure I go first. Get the Provoke off on the Rock Breaker. So take control. Don't let Ethos do that big hit again. I would definitely lose if that happens. Still going to take some damage. But those uh, retaliation hits there. Nice 35k, nice 26. Let's get his defense up now. Let's make him hit even harder. I think I want to drop turn meter. Or do I go AoE? Maybe I go AoE. AoE damage, let's do that. Oh, nearly killed off the Stagnite. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Get a big old hit. Big old hit back, 40k. Well done, my friend. Um, he's... No, we're not going to go before him. So we're going to take him out of the game as well. Let's even off, off the odds a bit. Oh, he's nearly dead. Nearly dead. Take him out. 3v1 now. All of a sudden, tides have turned. It looked like we definitely lost at the start there. But Rock Breaker comes in big and slams down another one. 28k. Another tough team here. So Ray is a real problem for this team because she can wipe off Madame Cerise's immunity. Uh, as soon as that immunity has gone, she's quite fragile at the start. So you see that. Remove the buff. Rotus comes in already. We do have a freeze on the ray, which is good. As long as we can get a turn. Okay, so we get a turn. I can clear all of this off. Give myself a bit of healing back. I think I want to go block buffs first. Get block buffs across the board. Clear off all of their buffs next. So we're starting to get some control. Now we get a provoke out. If this lands on three of them, I probably win the fight. One, two, three. That's good. So now we're in good shape. Counter attack. Yes, please. Slam the armature. 24k. Get some defense up. Now he's going to hit even harder. I'm going to let... Actually, I'm going to go in AoE provoke here. Going to big old provoke. Woo! Two down. 50k each. Thanks very much. I think we could just try and get him below 50% so that Rock Breaker can give him a big old kiss. Or oh, 9k didn't get a crit that time. He's down as well though. Miscreating monster, 4v1. I don't think so. I don't think you've got enough, my friend. And we are going to win another fight. A bit slower this time. We've got a few weak hits coming in. But he's not going to be able to beat 4v1. There we go. Cruising up. Into the 4Ks now. Flood. What have you got, Flood? 79, let's see. What have you got for me? Why does this team work? If, if this, all of these people individually are decent champions, all of these people combined make this team. Okay, that's the difference here. So this is about synergy of your team. This is not necessarily about single 
um, ability of champions. It's about your team synergy. Provokes across the board. So we're just getting a bit of freedom now. I don't need to take any... I don't need to provoke yet because I've got the provokes all going into here and she's unkillable. So I'm just going to get some damage out. He's revived. He's going to kill my Madame Cerise. It's not ideal, but it's also not that bad. Could be a lot worse. Just chunking up some, some health. Now we can get the provokes going into Rock Breaker. This is really important. This, this phase of the fight now, really important. Slamming back. Get out of here, Brackus. What do you think you're playing at? Time for our uh, big one to have a, a go. Oh, no. She's going first. I need a little hit back there. Oh, that freeze is not ideal. I need to kill this guy. Okay, we're hitting for 30k then. That will do the job. Let's try and take Trunda down. She's got the resist up there, which is actually a bit annoying. Starting to take a bit of pain. I think I'm going to go with the one that's got the weaker affinity here. Try and get her with a good old hit. 20k. Got retaliation hits coming in. I'm going to try and clear all of this off and give myself a bit more time. As long as she's low health, she hits hard. This ability here, damage increases as current H... Sorry, damage increases as HP decreases. That's really important. So she comes in. If that was a crit, that would have absolutely killed her there. Still okay, still okay. Let's go. Defense up. Now these hits will hit harder. Yes, they will, 35k. Thanks for coming. Yes, they will, 35k. Thanks for coming. That's what this team's all about. Slamming people down. We're going to do one more fight. Um, I think we're going to take top of the board here. 12 points. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to see if I can push this team right through to uh, Platt over the next day. Probably do a bit more on stream tonight if people are around. Get involved. This looks pretty rough though. That provoke did not help. This is not looking good. Ooh, that's a good team actually. That is a good, strong team. Let's do one more then that we can actually have a chance at. Let's try this one. One thing I'd say now is this team's super fun. I don't know if it could get me into plat like it used to because the there's just so many like OP champs right now. Look at the damage we're taking. Kale just comes in with a big old hit there. Let's try and debuff these guys. Because I got a stun on me there, that's basically potentially lost me this game. Frozen there, frozen there. He's coming with a big hit in a minute. Got to try and take him out. Didn't get a crit. Didn't even get a, a normal hit. Oh, he's down for sure. I don't really have any damage left. Both of my damage dealers are on the floor. So this is going to be a loss. Unfortunately, we've ended it on a couple of losses. Super fun though, guys. Um, come and join me on Twitch. We can have some fun tonight. I've been Hell Hades. I'll catch you soon.